I know you guys made fun of me because I love infrastructure so much. And I was on to you and your little tittering as I talked about pavement and load factors. But I don't care. I'm proud of that. Senator Ann Johnson Stewart represented part of Plymouth and Minnetonka for only one term. She's not seeking re-election, but in that one term, she became known as an engineer with a passion for pavement. She shared her passion through infrastructure notes like these on Twitter. In her farewell speech, she referenced the need to keep pushing for infrastructure improvements. On the heels of that passionate speech, we reached out to Senator Ann Johnson Stewart to learn more about her passion for pavement and what she learned in office about Minnesota's infrastructure. Here's what she had to say in today's Newsmakers. I think pavement is really important. Um, it's a huge investment. We talk about it as an asset. And so if cities, counties, local agencies don't take care of their asset, it becomes a really expensive fix, much like your roof would be on your house. And so what I think did, it's important. What did you see in your time traveling in regards to infrastructure? Because that kind of became something you were known for. Yeah, and I, I'm very proud of that. I ran for Senate because I'm passionate about infrastructure. And I was frustrated that nobody seems to be caring or paying attention. I mean, right now in St. Louis Park, two water main breaks in a very closely spaced time, you would think people would be a little bit scared like, oh my God, what if that happens in my house? Well, frankly, it could happen in your house. These water main breaks are not all that unusual. It's just the fact that it happened twice in close succession that it's made the news in St. Louis Park. We had a bridge fall down in uh, Minneapolis. I thought for sure that would grab people's attention. But, you know, we take infrastructure for granted. Um, I keep telling my engineer friends we're doing too good of a job because we're patching things together, we're making it work, and we are going to get to the point where it doesn't work anymore. So what I saw as a member of the bonding committee, which I loved and I love serving on, is that in Minnesota we really do have some emergency situations. There are many people in rural Minnesota who live in small towns. They don't have the property tax base to fix their sewer or their water, and so they have nobody to come to but the state. And so as a member of the bonding committee, we had people pretty much begging us to help them because they have unsafe drinking water or they have sewage that's flowing directly into surface waters, and uh, that bothers me. It feels like everybody in Minnesota, everybody in America, everybody in the world should have clean water, and shame on us that that's not true here. So that was one of the things that really got me. Really stood out. Yes, absolutely. And you are retiring from the Senate. You're not running again, but you're still hoping to be involved in this field for sure. Yes, I am passionate about infrastructure. I have worked my whole life, my whole adult life, in construction and teaching, and I've done a lot of work with local governments. And do you want to know what I plan on doing or hope very, to do? If you could tell me very <laughs> briefly. <laughs> so what I'd like to do is manage or coordinate the efforts by um, the state, which are not happening yet, but to manage our opportunities for billions of dollars in additional infrastructure spending and uh, money coming here. So I, lo I am lobbying the governor right now to form a task force to get organized about that. And then, by the way, I'd also love it if you would appoint me the chair of that. Oh. So I'd love to continue my work in public service. Uh, it's a great, um, it's a need and I feel like I'm uniquely qualified in that area. So that's, that's what I hope my future brings. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck and I'm sure we'll see you again. Senator Ann Johnson Stewart, thank you for being here. Thank you. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.